Man, my pockets got nine, so I'ma need me, I'm a Zeus Man, they already know my name, I don't need to introduce I'll be rhyming like I'm Zeus, bring the thunder like I'm Zeus We can hang like a noose, then you Roddy Rich, the 23-year-old Compton rapper who just a few months ago was one of the biggest names in hip-hop. After releasing his very highly praised debut album back in late 2019, titled Please Excuse Me for Being Antisocial, which included one of the biggest songs of 2020 with his now diamond smash hit The Box, to then giving some fire feature verses on other huge stars tracks like Kanye and DaBaby, with Rockstar becoming his second number one hit in the same year, there was no question that Roddy Rich was one of the biggest young stars in all of music. And then came his second studio album, Live Life Fest, which dropped back in December of last year. And not only was this album met with low sales numbers for a guy as big as Roddy, but Live Life Fest was also met with some very underwhelming reviews from fans and critics. And then just a few days ago, Roddy would post this new snippet on his social media, titled Out My Mind. Hey, I've been lost. And immediately after he posted it, fans would quickly begin responding about how bad that snippet was, actually getting Roddy trending on Twitter. And along with all of the hate Roddy received following his latest album, and then again after posting this new snippet, Roddy would actually deactivate both his Twitter and Instagram. After posting on his story, guess I'm a flop now, shit crazy. And then posting the peace out emoji and going ghost. So with again all of this new hate and criticism he's been receiving, there's also been been many people claiming that Roddy Rich fell off, with one viral tweet also saying, we are witnessing the Chance the Rapperification of Roddy Rich. So in this video I'm going to discuss, did Roddy Rich fall off? So like I mentioned, prior to his latest album, Roddy Rich was one of the biggest names in hip-hop, and it really seemed like he could do no wrong. However, that was until he finally dropped his second studio album, Live Life Fast, which after only selling 62k first week and only debuting at number 4 on the charts, which if you compare that to his debut album that seemed like it was universally loved, Please Excuse Me for Being Antisocial would sell just over 100k, as well as debuting at number 1. And while personally I didn't think that his new album was quite as terrible as a lot of people are making it seem, I can definitely agree that it was a step down from his first one. However, one bad album does not mean that you fell off. Again, Roddy Rich is only 23 years old and is still finding his place in the music industry. However, I do think that waiting so long in between albums, just over two years to be exact, kind of hurt Roddy as well. Now I like to like uh, take my time experience a little life, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, I had my son uh, after my first album, so I just wanted to take my time and just, you know, just get certain things in order and then uh, live life, you know what I'm saying? Now it would have been different if Live Life Fast was better than it was, but waiting that long to drop only increased fans' expectations for his new album even more, even though they were already super high just due to again his previous success. And with his debut album again being universally loved, it's hard to follow that up a lot of times for artists. And since Antisocial was his only real album, people were already expecting his next one to be on that same level or better, as again that along with all the the fire features he did in between just set the bar so high. I just think the majority of fans, including myself, were just expecting this album to be great considering not only how long he took to work on it, and how great all of his previous projects are, along with how much he was hyping this new album up, saying that there would be no skips. Which, there definitely was some skips. And unless you're already a huge established artist such as someone like Kendrick Lamar, you can't really wait that long and not expect to see any drop off. You gotta feed the streets. But I just felt like this new album was kind of boring, which was something I was not expecting to say about a Roddy Rich project. Now I do blame some of that on the production, but not all of it. And then with this new snippet he posted, I would agree that it's not close to his best work ever, and I honestly think the beat is again what makes it sound so bad here. I've been low, I've been high, I've been out my body, out my mind. When you take my soul, take your time. When it's time to take my steps, I never stutter. 
but I don't really think it deserved all of this new hate and criticism. And then as an artist, as I always say, you just have to learn to ignore haters on the internet and just focus on yourself. And although it's a lot harder than it sounds, especially for an artist here as big as Roddy Rich though, you should never respond to them and let them see that what they're saying is actually getting to you. As that's what all these people are really looking for in the first place. And it's also crazy that this is yet another example of how the internet can go from completely loving and praising an artist to then quickly switching up and calling them trash and saying things like they fell off. As we've also seen this sort of quick switch up from fans recently with artists like Polo G, Corday, and Chance the Rapper just to name a few. So did Roddy Rich fall off? And I don't really even have to think too hard about this one. No, Roddy Rich did not fall off. Again, Live Life Fast was just one project. And even though, again, I didn't really like it, as well as that new snippet he posted, but Roddy Rich is just way too talented for people to say that he fell off after one not so good album. And not only is he too talented, but again, he's also too young. At only 23 years old, Roddy Rich has already accomplished more than a lot of rappers do in their entire careers. And maybe this could actually be a good thing for Roddy moving forward, as I think this definitely has lowered the expectations around him, because again they were just so high before. But I think if Roddy just gets back to ignoring people on the internet and just focuses on making good music, which I think we all know he is capable of doing, as well as getting back to dropping more consistently, as he's also been teasing Feed the Streets 3 for a while now, saying that it will be dropping here in 2022, then I definitely think Roddy Rich can make a strong comeback and get back to where he was. Being a star in the rap game. So that'll do it for this video on Roddy Rich. If you haven't yet, please do me a favor and drop a like for me. And also be sure to hit that subscribe button to stay tuned for new videos every week. I also wanted to mention that I finally started an Instagram page for the channel. So be sure to also check that out as well. Uh, there was like Ray Charles, didn't see my vision Only need one shot, don't need no provision Man, I don't need no permission When I'm whipping in the kitchen When I'm scraping all these bowls It is like I'm doing dishes I ain't worried about that girl Could've seen got lots of fishes I ain't really read the terms Or agree to those conditions I ain't really come from rags But I'm happy